Frankie Knuckles. You know, soon I will be done with the troubles of the world and the, the, the gospel tune he did. I used to play it all the time on normal radio. At any rate, I turn it off because you know, it's, it's, but you don't know why. Hey, it's kind of man. My morning, morning things got you know. I play, I played Nina Simone. I uh, wish I would, wish I knew how it would be to be free. But then it skipped right into uh, the DJ Spivey mix because I didn't have a chance to, whatever, um, to a Glory, a Gospel House mix, which I particularly like. So I, I ran with that, right? And then what happened was, uh, after that was over, I just went and said, well, let me just, you know, because that was like, how long is that? That's like, uh, ooh, an hour, it says one, 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 173, but it says an hour and a half, an hour and 20 minutes, whatever it is. Then I just went and, uh, uh, picked for some reason, I don't know why, I just picked another DJ Spivey. Which one was it? It was this one, a musical kaleidoscope, I think, because uh, one of the things I like, yeah, a musical kaleidoscope. That's 179 too, just finish with that. But then uh, I said, ooh, I didn't do my Marvin this morning. So when I got here, that was over with that piece of clay. Then I did, uh, actually I did, did I do, uh, what's the name before that? Did I? Did I do Valerie Simpson before that? No, I think I did uh, Love Woke Me Up This Morning, then the Piece of Clay. I don't know, however I did it. And then I just ended with just this thing. As I, I took a wash and everything like that. So, oh, hey, who am I talking to you already for? Hey, by the way, this is behind the scenes. We're going to do a, a Instagram. You know how, well, you don't know how this works. This is for archival purposes only. You're not supposed to be, you know. Let me just get myself set up here. Got yeah, my little incense. Ah, we leave the light on. Now turn the light off. The making of we always set up, but we we clear the air. <laughs> Usually done in the morning. This is the Instagram. I just well, I said I just well, that's true. I do I do Instagram once a day. I um. Uh, I mean, I could do it more than once a day, but, you know, I'm not, I'm not really like that because I get other things to Like right after this, I'll do, sometime after this, i do the Gullah reading from the Gullah Bible. That's only on my YouTube channel. So, uh, like, this goes on my, well, you listen to it on YouTube channel, so you know, you know what the deal is. Oh, hey, like that, get in there. Ah, clear the air. Oh, oh look, I'm wearing my Thomas and Carter t-shirt. Thomas Sankara. I shook his hand. I met him one time, like in the in the in the 80s when he came up to New York. I recorded him because it was a little thing. I, I recorded him, so I shook hands with Thomas Sankara. This hand right here. <laughs> I like this T-shirt. I like this T-shirt so much. I don't wear it. <laughs> oh, look! Also in the back. Look! Look! Look at the back. I think the back. You see Africa? See Africa there? Now, see, here's my thing about Africa. If you're going to depict Africa, especially in a two-dimensional space, let me put this up first. Especially in two-dimensional space, you better include Madagascar. That's all. That's my whole thing. In fact, it's kind of chilly out here. Let me, let me put this. I mean, the reason why I got this, not the reason why. I'm a part of narrative Nubia. I don't really partake but I did but they had this really nice one see Nubia see but they have Africa there but notice they have Madagascar yo if you have a two two dimensional depiction and you don't have Madagascar in your Africa then I, I ain't rocking with you <laughs> simple as that they gotta make these holly they guys they gotta make holograms sooner or later where they have you know the globe going around so you have the true size of Africa and the rest of the continents, continents. Okay, wait, I'm getting myself together here. <sighs> Coconut water. <sighs> I had a really nice, I had a nice walk, you know, 
In fact, let me see how far, you know what we do. Let me see how far I walk. I got a, I got a treat for you this morning. I got a treat for you this morning. Well, actually, maybe not for you. It's a treat for me. <laughs> hey, oh, that's the Valerie. Hit that. Oh, that's right. I got to turn the... I'll do that in a second. I got to see how many steps I took. Because, you know, we measure things by steps. You can measure things by kilometers. You can measure things by miles. The newest thing, all the rage... This is funny. It's steps. How many steps you take? And you can convert them to kilometers and miles, of course. You know? But here, you say, well, brother, nobody does that. That's my point. See? This is how you start something new. You do it. You put it out there in the ether. In the ether. And it gets picked up. It's like, oh, I was listening to Michi X, man. In fact, let me talk about Michi. No, not to talk about it. I don't talk, I don't talk about nobody, right? Uh, when I do the thing, but before we get to that, before we get to that, you now maybe I should say that because I don't really want that on my Instagram. But before I get to that, let me see how many uh, fourteen thousand five hundred fifty-three steps. That's nine point seven five kilometers. Nine point seven five kilometers. Oh, this this how I remember to take the airplane mode off. Uh, take the thing or two. So try again. This comes up. Then I put down uh, nine point seven five kilometers. K I L O kilometers. Kilometers. Nine point seven five kilometers as miles. Uh we have meters. That's not what I. That's not what I want. I don't want meters. I want kilometers. Kilometers. Oh no, kilometers. E T E R S. Kilometers. Kilometers. This says kilo. O L O. I guess it is kilometers. Kilometers, that's miles. Why is it not giving me what I want, what I usually get? There's the miles. Ah, oh, here it is. Nine, it says nine and three quarters kilo, kilometers equals 6.05837 miles. Okay, how much that equals? Let me see what that's uh, 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 seven, eight, nine, ten, twenty, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two, thirty three, thirty four, thirty four. Good, good number. Five, seven. I like that. I go, I go by numbers. Okay, that's back there. Okay, we're almost ready for that. Yeah, let me do that. Oh, before I do that, because this is not going to be on the Instagram, I got to. Somebody do because, you know, see, I do these behind the scenes because. What I realized that I, what I've been doing with, with the Instagram is that I started, I, let me start all over again. I started the YouTube for archival purposes only. It was merely to uh, say uh, an audio, audio memoir of my life <laughs> as it was going. Because I kept on telling people, you got to, you know, you got to record your elders. You know, they, they got a lot to say. You got to record your elders. Ain't nobody listening to me. I mean, why Why should they? <laughs> so I started recording myself because I realized it's so particular. Hey. You'll get to be an elder. This is like 2014, you know? So, what's 2014? 10 years? Whatever. So I started, you know, recording myself. And then when the Instagram came along during the pandemic, I got stuck in New York. So I've, I started Instagram. And then I realized I started to, Instagram was, was replacing what I was doing on YouTube. But then the Instagram, I had no, See, because YouTube, what happened was everything goes on YouTube, it automatically goes to BitChute. So I have two ways to archive my, my stuff, you know, you, you, um, BitChute and, and, uh, and, and what do you call it, YouTube. So 
I said, yeah, but I'm not getting the stuff on Instagram. So then I said, hey, if I do behind the scenes on my YouTube, then I get, the, I will get the, I will get the, um, you know, the Instagram archived at YouTube and also at BitChute. Then I have an archival record. See how that works? The boy, brilliant sometimes. Okay, so anyway, um, I, I'm I'm going to St. Louis uh, the beginning of December, right? See my best friends there. He has all my writings. <laughs> He has all my writings. Well, you know, all my plays and, and most of my poetry. But some poetry doesn't have like this right here. This is my my favorite poetry book. I might have to bring this up there because he's threatening to, maybe he's threatening to publish. Uh, he's threatening to publish. <laughs> uh, oh, here's two of my favorite poems. Oh, The Spirit of Nomo. I'll leave that one alone. Uh... This is all from, from a, oh, this is this is a poem. I am a 60s poem, delivered facetiously. I love this poem. I, I perform this poem a lot. See, but when I perform poetry, I don't, I, don't, I don't memorize the stuff. I just do it off the thing. I got too many other things on. Crystal Lotus, I know what this is for. That was for uh, this girl I knew. The doggy. After Effect of Non-Interrupted Sunshine Spirits. Sunshine Spirits is a song. And uh, James Spaulding wrote, the, uh, wrote the, 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 the music for it. He has a sheet. And there was a long story behind it. I have to tell you this. Um, do the what you name to a uh, man. African, the same. Oh, maybe I should read that since I've been talking about Africa. I'll read the other poem some other time. Wait a second. Let me just see what else is in here. Oh, this is the, oh I know what that is. It's under here. I won't go through that. I'll go through this another time. I want to read this Africa poem because I just came across it. I think it's appropriate. I was going to read another poem. It's called Africa the Same. Africa Dash. See that? Africa Dash the Same. Small, short, short, short poem. Come, catch me where gossamer floats in air, where certainty knows no fear, where my concern is care and love is the four-lettered word meaning that pleasure beyond that pain where you nor I need claim anything further than our true name. Ta -da! Well, that's when I was writing this uh, all together. So I, have, I have many poetry names, but this is early writing because it says Tony Sloan. So that's one of my early poems. And then there's another phase I went through uh, Tony Sloan, 1971. This is Tony Sloan, old run, run, run to get a lowercase letter. Then there was Tony Sloan, 1971. That's when I first started writing poetry. And then I eventually just went to Poet Anthony, you know. The whole Tony Sloan is a whole other thing, you know. That's uh, Let me see what's under here. This is, there's something under here that's quite intriguing. Before I get on to... Hey, yo. Oh, what is this? Quite intriguing. Jude 76 somebody named Jude I guess gifted me this poem so you got these birds and these things come from the bird so I don't J-U-D-E I don't know what that is 76 it gotta be 1976 Wait a second, I didn't write really stuff writing poetry. Oh, yeah, I wrote to 71. Yeah. Okay, so I don't know. Maybe I exchanged a poem because I used to um, exchange poems. That's a, a, you know, like I had some, was it a play or a book of poetry that uh, Malefi Asante, when he had his book, the first publication of uh, Afrocentricity, I have that. I have that book there, signed and all that stuff. I'm not into sign anything. So I didn't buy it. I exchanged it for some of my writing. I don't know if it was poetry, if it was a polar play. I'm not really sure. I can't remember. I think Buddy was there. My fraternity brother was there, so he might know. Okay, so that's a poem. Hey, Africa the same, because the Africa, Africa, we're doing an Africa theme. So I got, even got a black thing up top. Ah. Okay, so enough of this. I got to get to the, taking too much time already. I got to get to what we're supposed to be doing today which is talking about something, something 
What? I don't know. Something. Ooh. Wow. Uh, Instagram. All right. There we go. Uh, live. Do it like that. Should I keep that light on in the back? I'll keep the light on in the back with the hair. Want them to see the Thomas Sankara. I'll, I'll mention it, you know. Just like I mentioned it to you guys, right? Okay, here we go. Hey, Instagram, it's me, T, from the Pattersons, taking the trains to Tibet. Yeah, I'm in black. Thing. Hey, look what I got. Look what I got. One of my favorite T-shirts. See how it's all stylized? Right? I got this from this roster in, uh, in, uh, in St. George's Mall there in Cape Town, right? So you have the, the, the African stuff, like that thing. And, and on the bottom there, it's got the also on it, the, and the sleeves, the, the thing like, like that. This is one of my favorite, favorite T-shirts. You know why you know it's my favorite T-shirt? Because I never wear it. <laughs> It's up here in the States. I might take it back to South Africa, but I don't think so. I'm going to leave it in the States. I don't, I'm, I just don't know. I just, just I love my Thomas and Carter. I met Thomas and Carter one time. Did you know that? No, no. Back in the 80s when he came up to the States, I was recording. I'm a recorder. I mean, I'm an archivist, but I'm a recorder. That's what I, that's what I do. And I recorded him. I would do some, some, it was, well, it was an event that I guess Samori put together, Samori Marks put together, whatever. He was there. It was a small room. It wasn't a lot of, People there, you know. In fact, I think I was the only person recording. Just whatever. So I met him, shook his hand. Hey, this one right here. This hand shook a lot of hands. A lot of influential. That's that influence thing. Hey, look, talk about influence. Look, okay, I posted, <laughs> uh, you know, see, okay, let me just start all over again. My wife doesn't really follow me on Instagram, but I guess she must have got some airtime, something like that. So she saw something I put up yesterday or the day before, whatever it is, and she commented. And she commented like, Oh, it's like uh you 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 sound you sound like what what Africans think an American is. Some she she made some comment. I should look it up, whatever it is, right? And I so I so I wrote back, you know, you know, hey darling. I call it. But the point is, I know people say, oh, you can't be calling somebody down. They don't know. Well, I guess the last name is there. Doesn't matter. Same last name. Okay. So, so I wrote back, yeah, I do, but you know, I said, uh, I said, I never stopped being a, you know, a boy from the South Bronx. You know what I mean? I am an American and I don't shy away from that. Though I, I know I started by saying, I try to be a universal man, just like Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. would say, right? Uh, but I'm always uh, a, a South Bronx boy, and I'm always, I'm American, and I don't lose it wherever I go, and I, I've been traveling for a long time, and I don't lose my accent. I was talking to somebody on the phone yesterday, and he said, I detect, he said, I detect a little New York in your thing. I said, yeah, you're right, blah, blah, and then, then we started talking. He's from Brooklyn, right? <laughs> so, so I do my regular thing. I said, oh, yeah, there's the problem. You know, you Brooklyn people, you don't know your islanders. You out there, middle, I, we went back and forth. It was really great. I love talking to Brooklyn people. But here's the thing. Uh, talk about perceptions and whatever it is. It was really interesting. Um, one of my favorite people to listen to influencers is, is me, TX. Hey, look, let me tell you something. If, 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 if what I'm doing in South Africa, if I have to travel with it, something like that, and I had to attach myself to a, a thing or a, a program, I would do Michi. Wherever Michi is at, when she's doing some sort of program, I would do that. Her or Yaki. That's it. Everybody else. Yeah. But Michi? But the thing is, she was going in. No, she was going in on somebody. Well, she going on her regular, her regular people, right? Include, including, I should, I don't say that right now. I'll do that another time. I have that written down someplace. I have to go through that one time. Another posting, maybe tomorrow if I remember. But she's talking about Kanye. It's interesting because people, you know, hey, look, I'm not a, I'm not a follower. Look, I've, Kanye lost me when I say lost me. Musically, whatever it is, when he did that, um, that thing with Jay Z with that call with the Mobank, whatever that call, and they're they're they're, they're, they're doing a, um, they're taking a riff from. Otis Redding, Dock of the Bay, and, it, and, it, and it, it, they're sort of leaning out the car and some sparks are flying, something like that. I said, what does that have to do with the song? So I'm going to like, 
I don't, you know, I got my people's, you know, Frankie Knuckles or Larry Simpson, you know, I, I don't deal with that stuff. But look, everybody says he's a genius. And in fact, my friend is Cape Town. He just discovered, not discovered, so listened to He's a genius. And I listened to it and said, yeah, okay, fine. But okay, you're a genius. <laughs> I know a lot of geniuses, right? I really do. I know a lot of geniuses, right? In fact, I just, I just had a selfie with a genius, a, a little, a boy genius, right? A young guy. So I guess he's nine, whatever, 10, whatever he is, right? But here's the thing. Everybody has something, right? The, but Michi brought up something very interesting. She's always bringing up stuff interesting. If you can get past all her, her, her stuff, right? And, is that people, people don't listen. They really don't listen. Kanye did this, Kanye did that. And the thing is, we're always reacting into his background, but she brought up some really good points. I'm not going to say what she brought up, whatever have you, but check out Michi X. I mean, check out Michi X. She's the one. Okay? Well, she's the one. She's the one for the downtrodden. You know, somebody like, say, say for instance, I, I, I haven't seen um, 5150 this week, you know, but like Corey, he's with the people, whatever have you, but he get he get things wrong all the time. You know, <laughs> he just get things wrong, <laughs> which is fine, you know, because I can sift out what's wrong. With, with, I just want to, I use him just to see what, what, what the streets is doing, what the peoples are doing, right? Michi's with the peoples, plus she's with like, she know, she know, she know media, she know psychology, and that's what you have to understand. You're being manipulated, <laughs> you know? And um, you all, look, I said this before, I'll say it. A lot more. You all who you surround yourself with. You all who you allow into your, into your, boom, 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 boom. So if you keep on watching this new source or that uh, influencer, then eventually you're going to be influenced by that influencer. That's what they call them, an influencer, right? Okay, so let, let me leave it at that. I'm, I'm not going to go any further because, like I said, for me, the two most important movements happening right now on the planet, right, is Sagru with his safe soil thing. Talk about the soil. I don't know, but I don't care about what sods, what he's about, whatever have you. You know, the safe soil movement. I mean, whatever he's proclaiming. You know, I've heard it before. Blah blah blah. I've been to India many times. I hung out with gurus. I hung out with all kinds of people. That's, that's all right, right? Yaki, uh, Yaki awakened uh, out of out of uh, uh, um, what's the name? Uh, Saguru. He, he was at Mysore. He's from Mysore. I know Mysore. I've been to Mysore. I went to a movie theater in Mysore. That was a, I'll tell you that some other time, right? Uh, and I guess he's down there in Tamil Nadu. That's my favorite place, Tamil Nadu. Got to get back there. I don't know why. It's, now, I do know why. I got to get back to Tamil Nadu. But he operates out of there. Okay? Then you have Yaki. Yaki Awakened. He's out of St. Louis or that place near St. Louis. They say St. Louis. And he's close to St. Louis. They say St. Louis. You know it's a suburb or whatever it is. Okay? Um, so that and that's for your personal nutrition of that. Those are two most important movements on the planet. Okay, the third movement, right? For me, personally, right, is uh, Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. So with those three, I operate in three. Uh, you know, save soil, which uh, which which my, my tasking in, uh, in 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 Southern Africa in the Eastern Cape is about saving is about the soil. And, and the community, of course, it's always about the community, the downtrodden, right? And uh, and 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 also, you know, the the, the yaki. Oh, I I just did uh, the three bitters again last night, and I'll do it for the next three days. What I've been doing is like usually I try to start on a Tuesday, but I was late this week, and so Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, I do to do the three bitters, three every every night I do three bitters. I first the first one I do, then I replenish it. The, the second night and the third night, and then that's it for the week. Then I wait till next week. I'll do that for the rest of November and see what happens. By that time, I should be run out of the bitters, and I'll be over there at St. Louis, and I'll figure out, talk to him, and figure out what I what I need to do. I don't really need a cleanse. Well, I'm cleansing, but, you know, I'm pretty, I'm all right, all right? But it's it's interesting. Three bitters, I'm going like, chug, chug, chug. Oh, please. Ah. Everybody says, oh, that just nasty, whatever. Well, you got to prepare yourself. <laughs> prepare yourself. If you're going to do the brief, don't just jump in there. First you do, take a week or three weeks and, and just cut your sugar and, 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 and cut your, your salt intake, whatever have you. Start doing just fruit in the morning. And then by the time you get to the bitters protocol, you'll be, you'll be fine. It'll be all right. It'll, it'll taste all right. It'll, well, I say it tastes all right. It'll taste like it tastes. Like I know that taste because I did that a long time ago. Okay. So... So so that's it, and then then then, then uh, Miss Neely Full Jr. is a personal code. 
And that's what Michi was talking about last night. Well, what's the code? What's the code? What's the code? And people was coming out. There. I just wrote, I wrote in the chat because I don't really do that. So I wrote in the chat, producejustice.com. The people who know, who know. People who don't know, don't know. It's a personal code. That's it. Okay? Okay. Just thought I'd tell you. Let y'all know that. Y'all take care. Talk to you soon. Bye. Okay. That's done. Hey, look at all the stuff we accomplished. I talked a little about the deed. I got to do the poetry. I'm still drinking my water. Ah, so let me. Uh, so maybe you got a lot accomplished this morning, baby. Share. Now, what should I? What should I call this? Uh, what should I call it? Uh, so I call it the protocols. Protocols. No, too close to the protocols of Zion. That, that, that'll mess people up. Oh, man, what am I going to write? Um, Africa. I just call it Africa. African influences. African influence. African. African. A F. African influence. I N F L U E N. E E E E E space E N E N. Let's put African influence. I'm just gonna put African influence just because of the poem. I guess you know, Western Branch. Add to series. Series is gonna be what's gonna be the series. Uh, uh, let's go in the morning. It's part of that series. Should I tag anybody? Should I tag anybody? No. I'm not going to tag nobody. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not into that tagging. Well, I should be into the tagging more, but I'm not. Okay. So there you go. She hates black people. Oh, what is this? Tariq Lee. Original audio. What does she say? I love being... She hates, black, she hates being... Oh, she hates... She hates black people. She hates being black. I don't know what this means. Tariq always puts his things. Okay. So, um... So, so that's it. Ah, I'll talk to you another time. All right, all right, bye.